Pride on Las Vegas Now is sponsored by Finley Automotive Group, Southwest Medical Part of Optum Care, Silver State Schools Credit Union, and NV Energy. JC did mention he was 65 years old earlier in the show. And now with age, speaking of, comes more risk factors for falling. Southwest Medical, part of Optum, the sponsors of this segment, are here to help prevent that in our community. Now, as we head into the fall, we're talking about falls um, and how to prevent them. What are you seeing out there? What are the numbers? Yeah, so unfortunately, every year, millions of Americans who are 65 and older fall. Uh, while it might not seem like a huge deal, right? We just fall, you get back up. It actually can lead to lots of consequences. People using their independence um, or even sometimes more severe things like head injuries. Uh, according to the CDC, one out of five falls actually leads to serious problems. Okay, and with that said, you know, how can one prevent falls? Right, so some things might be very intuitive. So if you have uh, lower extremity weakness, or if you have a disability, or if you have pain, getting those things treated. Uh, so making sure that we're doing strengthening exercises for those areas of our body that are a little weaker. And you can do this with a physical therapist, with a trainer, by yourself at home. Uh, there's even some low impact exercises such as Tai Chi that have been proven to be very helpful for strengthening. You don't have to pay anyone. You can just go on YouTube, Google it, um, and you can find videos to do at home. Uh, and then there's some more intuitive things like checking your vision, right? If we can't see where we're going, we're more likely to trip and fall. And then talking to your doctor, there are specific health conditions or medications that can increase our risk of falls. So maybe talking to your doctor about alternatives or ways to mitigate those risks. Now, you mentioned some medications that can increase your risk of falling. Um, let's talk about what those medications are and other risk factors. Yeah, so there's a few sort of big ones that we all have to be aware of. Um, things like sedatives or tranquilizers, things like muscle relaxants or pain medications um, that can cause some drowsiness, can cause some dizziness, and that can predispose you to falls. Uh, things like antidepressants. So making sure that you check in with your doctor to see, is this still the right medication for me or is there something else we can try? Um, and then we talked about, you know, tripping over things in the home. So making sure that we're looking around our home, maybe adding railings where they weren't there or adding bars, especially in bathrooms. A lot of falls happen in the bathrooms when we're getting in and out of the shower. And here's the big question now, what should one do if they do experience a fall? What's the first thing they should do? Right. First things first, take a deep breath, relax. It can be very scary and jarring. Usually falls come when you least expect them. So take a deep, few deep breaths. You're already on the ground. See if you can think about what did I hit on the way down? Did I hit my head? Did I hit my elbow? Does anything hurt? My, might I have broken something on the way down? Once you've sort of gathered yourself, try to get up slowly. And then the next most important step is to call for help. Um, most of us carry a phone around with us, a cell phone. So use your cell phone, call 911. They'll come and assess um, and bring you in for evaluation. The most important thing to let us know once you get to the hospital is, did you have a head injury? My big job is to prevent you from getting sick, prevent you from falling. So if you don't already have a primary care doctor, I strongly, strongly encourage you to go find one. I work at Southwest Medical. I am accepting new patients. Thank you again to Southwest Medical, part of Optum, for sponsoring that segment. And there is more Las Vegas now right after this break. We'll be right back.